What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike, thank you for joining us, I really appreciate it. So guys, today I'm gonna show you how to install any Samsung SSD. No matter the type or the size, this video works for all types of Samsung SSDs. Now I'm gonna revisit an old video I did about three years ago. It was the A60 Evo installation. Even though that video is three years old, it's still relative to the new Samsung SSDs. Everything I show you in this video works with all SSDs. So today I'm gonna show you how to install this, initialize it, create a simple volume, and then we're gonna clone the old SSD to the new SSD using Samsung's data migration software. We're gonna clone the OS as well as all the files to the new SSD. And guys, don't forget, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. Now, if your Samsung SSD is not a self-installing SSD, <laughs> it's very yeah. simple. You wanna plug a SATA connection into the Samsung SSD and then into the SATA connection on your motherboard. You'll then need to plug in the power connection from your power supply to the SSD. Then turn on your computer, and then we'll go from there. With all new SSDs, you need to initialize your SSD before you can use it. Then after that, we're gonna create a simple volume. We'll use all the default settings, make it real easy. Then next, we're gonna launch Samsung's data migration software and start the cloning process. This is real easy. You have your source disk and your target disk. And go ahead and hit start. It's that easy. And once the migration process is done, turn off your PC Unplug the old SSD and plug the new SSD into the old SATA connection on the motherboard. Your new SSD is ready to go and now you're all done. It's that simple. So no matter which Samsung SSD you have, this process works flawlessly. And guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe. It's free. I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.